Hello guys and welcome to the video. So today we are going to be messing with the tattoo two-way. Now, note, while I try to do level 5, I, I, I think level 5 is just obviously the only way to go when it comes to two-waying some of these monsters. Because you can do the two-way in less than 100 energy. Um, for tattoos two-way, you're not exactly going to be able to do that. Um, the reason being is because of this. The entrance limit. All monsters, all the monsters have to be the same attribute. So tattoos of fire one, and uh, I hate to say it, but the level five is water. And if you can find some fire monsters that can do this and efficiently, then by all means, <laughs> please tell me because, especially as a beginner, if you're a beginner doing this, you're not gonna have those fire monsters. Um, there's a good chance you're gonna have just like Saf. Tattoo and these other two, Verdi Heal and Colleen. Now, there are other ways you can go about this at the end of the day. Um, you can really go any team. Um, but I think the most efficient would be one that Tattoo herself can, uh, you know, help contribute to. But I'm not saying that she needs to be alive, quote unquote, to activate this. So let's go take a look at these monster skills before we hop into the dungeon. And uh, I'll see you right right there. So the very first thing I want to point out is I understand my tattoo is 2 aid, So going into this dungeon, it may seem like it has an unfair advantage. But not really. Um, we're going to look at this glancing. This places dots for three turns. And this one uh, decreases the duration of continuous damage granted on target by one turn and inflicts additional damage that's equivalent to those dots so she's still activating dots she's just not blowing them up like this um i do recommend sath b2 aid obviously um this is just going to help clear faster <clears throat> but uh very first monster i would recommend is vertiheal he is such a good unit you're going to be getting turns out much faster, and that's important for, you know, your Colleen to help you heal in these fights. For you to be able to place more and more dots on the enemy before they go. And just in general, it's who doesn't like more turns. Um, he is ruined just triple blade, speed, crit rate, HP. Um, pretty basic. You can I literally farm these runes from giants, so... It's not exactly the hardest thing in the world to get. And you can get these from like B10 or B7 in case you are just starting out. And you need runes from somewhere. Um, for Colleen, let's look at Colleen. So Colleen is literally level 35, 5 starred. Um, she's on a half broken set. I made sure she got swift, but she's speed, HP, HP. Um, didn't aim for anything particular in the substats, just... Kind of fast, kind of tanky, nothing too special. Yeah. Um, in the beginning, I'm not sure which kind of fire monsters would necessarily be super useful to you to bring along with you. I mean, Spectra is always a good option. You, I mean, he's good everywhere. Attack bar slow, attack bar decrease, or sorry, it's attack speed slow, attack bar decrease, and attack power break. Enemies max HP. Not bad, right? Um, other than that, I don't see you building too many of these other fire monsters. And, other than that, it's more or less, again, monsters that I'm trying to see that you would actually build. Ryok, um, maybe Ryok, but, Rauk, whatever, however you call him, I say Ryok. But, uh, it's like, if you're building him before your tattoo, you're definitely deviating a little bit from the path. But, uh, this is definitely not a bad choice either. So, I think Verde Heal and Colleen are the better options. I mean, Colleen has a good heal. Plus, she has something that we're going to talk about in a second. So, uh, I guess let's go back to the 2A uh, menu. Okay, so here we are back at the 2A menu, uh, board, whatever. Level 4. Let's talk about what the boss does, and I'll talk to you why I think Colleen is so, so important for this. So... We already know what Shannon does, uh, attack power and defense buff, uh, absorbs all attack bars, and has a 75% chance to put glancing. Uh, with Verti Heal, we have the advantage, so more, more likely than not, we're going to resist it. But even if we don't, it's not too big of a worry. It's these, these crystals. So, 
healing crystal and assault crystal. We'll, we'll talk about the assault crystal first because that's the, mo the least important. It talks all enemies with a strong blow. The damage of the skill is proportionate to the defense. So, of course, the defense is going to go up thanks to Shannon and do more damage. We all know that these crystals are going to assist these boss monsters. This music is loud to me. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> but it's going to assist the monsters. So, of course, Shannon is increasing defense, which means it'll do more damage. Thankfully, we have Colleen for the healing, and Verti Heal is going to help her get out, out that heal more and more often. But it's the healing crystal. Heals the HP of all allies and recovery amounts proportionate to the attack power, which Shannon increases. So, Shin or Colleen is a good counter to that. And I know technically Sath has a counter to that. Um, what was it? Disturbs HP recovery for two turns with a 50% chance. But having Colleen as your healer, because you need a fire, you need a fire healer to survive. She also has it in her second skill. For two turns, and it's guaranteed. Plus her heal, plus she gives attack power, and then this one decreases enemies' attack power. So, in my opinion, she's a perfect unit to help you get past this 2A. But uh, I think the best way I could prove to you that this team is really good is by putting in a dungeon. And by the way, yes, I know you could have Sath's leader skill in case you don't have Verti Heal. We'll probably talk about a, a, another unit other than Verti Heal you could bring. But uh, after this, but let's hop in. I think Verti Heal is very important for this. So, of course, attack power. Thing. <laughs> it doesn't matter exactly what the AI does. I mean, they're going to demolish this. Especially since Sath would uh, be dump doing double dots. And you see all the Disturb HP recovery, which is nice. Colleen's there, the clutch with the heal. And thankfully, you brought like a dot team. So, <laughs> these dots are... This is technically a dot team. I'd like to think so. So it's like, the, it doesn't matter if they get a defense buff. There we go. Oh, she almost got healed. <laughs> I was so worried for a second. So you see, we're just getting out turn after turn after turn. She's not getting healed thanks to the crystals. If you would have brought... If if we didn't bring Sath or Colleen, it's like she'd be out healing. So you would have to aim for the crystal. Which you could have technically... You could technically bring like a Verd, Rayoke, and something else. But, uh... There you go, there's that team. Now, I want to kind of consider a couple options that I have done in the past and I do think of. So, again, let's go back to the monster collection and I'll show you a couple of these options. Now, here's the first option. Now, it's not exactly the best one because you're not going to really have a use for Fyro later on. So, you'd be building him for next to no reason. But, if you had to go with him, um, if you don't have Bird... Fire could be a good of good use. You're, there's a great chance you're going to come across him. It's just that you're not going to be using him too often afterwards. But uh, as you can see here, he charges towards the enemy to inflict continuous damage. So he places dots. Increase your attack power for two turns if you get a critical hit. So you'd go speed, crit rate, HP, and get, go for HP and the, and the subs. Now pierces the enemy with the uh, spear and inflicts damage proportionate to your target's max HP. Inflicts dots. If I get a, if you get a critical hit, throws a ball, in a ball in flames to attack all enemies two times and inflicts continuous damage for two turns with each attack. Inflicts continuous damage for three turns if you get a critical hit. So, not exactly a bad choice to place dots. The only problem with this guy is you're not going to use him too much after that, unless, like, unless you're super far down the line. 
and you're just using him for fun. But it's just like, you're not going to be using him too often. That's the only issue I have with him. Now again, <laughs> another dot daughter. Adrian is actually pretty neat. Um, I looked at him a couple. I've looked at him a couple times, and he's pretty fun to look at. But again, just not something you're going to be using too much. But if you have him, and if you don't mind building another monster and going out of your way and building this guy, he is an option. Um, I guess let's start with the third skill. Actually, increase the attack speed and critical rate of all allies for three turns. So more more speed, more crit rate, which means you're probably going to do some crit damage, obviously, but that's not important. This one, attacks random enemies for uh, four times. Each attack has a 75% chance to deal continuous damage for two turns. Decrease the cooldown time of Arrow Storm by one turn whenever you attack an enemy under dots. So he's going to continuously do this, or he's going to do it near infinitely because you already have Sath and Tattoo placing dots, which is interesting to me. Uh, rapidly fire two shots and may fire an additional shot by chance, equivalent to your critical rate. Each attack has a 30% chance to disturb the enemy's HP recovery for one turn, which you do need in that dungeon. Other than that, I don't see too many other units that you would bring. I mean, I'm not going to consider the fire cowgirl. You're not going to have her. There's a very, very small chance you're going to have her. Other than that, you would have to build a completely different team. Like I mentioned, Rayok is a good option. Um, I don't see you building the Hell Lady specifically for this. I'm trying to cons consider that, you know, the people watching this are new players and not pro players. So I'm not considering that you might have Ursha built to help you with this because you're you're building the Sath Tattoo Team, right? You're, I'm assuming this is what you're doing. You're a beginner. You're trying to figure out what team to use. This is the team I recommend, right? The, the Verd, Colleen thing. But if you don't have a uh, Verd, Fyro, Adrian are good temp options. Um, you can even just build them speed HP HP, throw some crappy runes on on them, and just get them to five star. So you don't have to build them completely. But uh, yeah, speed HP HP, except for fire speed crit rate HP, and for HP and subs, and then take the runes off of them once you're done. But those are the only other options I can see you doing with this, except, unless you have crazy other units like a a, a Rika. Which, I don't know why... Oh, she's Despair, H, Speed, HP, HP. Because she has dots. <laughs> we should... Oh, actually, now I want to see her in a run. Let's get let's go to the run. Okay. <laughs> we don't have a healer. I don't think. She just... Yeah, no, she's not a healer. But this is interesting. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> She's actually landing her stuns, man. That's insane. Bam. This is actually really fun. <laughs> but I, again, I was, I'm just... I'm doing this for fun. But the video's pretty much over. <clears throat> but if you have her, I mean... Amazing choice. Clearly. Oh... Decimated. <laughs> I'm not even gonna test if they can do level. Okay, we're gonna test if they can do level five. They can't. They can't. I know they can't. There's no way they can. Again, you're gonna have to do level four, but that. I'm gonna have to do a video for each of the things because they all require different attributes. So expect that sometime, maybe in the near future. Yeah. But until then, I hope you found again found this helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.